Apple Fanatic here, making a video on how to downgrade from 4.2, 4.0, or 4.1 to 3.1.3. Um, this will work for the iPod Touch 2G, <coughs> iPhone 3G, and iPhone uh, in the iPod, just the iPod Touch 2G and the iPhone 3G. Um, you're gonna need Pointage Tool 3.1.5 for Mac. Link will be in the description. And you are going to need. Let me just open up my folder. You are going to need 3.1.3. Um, how are you going to do this? It's very simple. Um, you're going to need to have your device jailbroken on whatever firmware you're running. So if you're running on 4.0, you're going to need to be jailbroken on 4.0. 4.2, you need to be jailbroken on that. 4.1, jailbroken on that. You understand. Um, once it's jailbroken, let me just go ahead and unplug my device. Let me plug in the second one. Let me just to show you. This is in fact jailbroken. Running. Awesome. Ah. This is in fact jailbroken. Running. 4.2.1. Okay, so it has to be jailbroken on whatever the software you're using. Doesn't matter what software your firmware you're using. And next step is going to be this. We're going to type in to our search engine, Ponage Tool. Open up Ponage Tool, and you're just going to get a message that says you want to download it. Yes, and you want to open it. Yes, and you're going to get a message that says you appear to have you don't appear to have an older version of this. You obviously do if you're running on 10.1, and if you don't, well, then you need to get it. Uh, these are the, uh, the devices it uh, supports. iPhone 3GS already pwned. Let's see, let's see what it says. Please set your device. This can be either iPhone, iPhone 3G, 3GS, or iPod Touch first-gen, second-gen. So if you're on a 3G, select this. For iPhone first-gen, select this. iPhone touch, <laughs> iPod Touch or iPod Touch second-generation, click this. All right. So you're going to want to hit expert mode and you're going to want to hit next. Browse for your IPSW. Awesome. If I can browse. Alright. And you're looking for your iPod Touch 2G firmware model. If you have a different device, it's going to say a different thing right there. And you're going to want to go to firmware. 3.1.3. Select it. Just going to browse for it. I'm going to find it, and you're going to be prompted to do this. Just go through and select what you want. Yada, 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 build. All right, so just build it to that. And just going to start building it. It will take 10 minutes or so. Once it's done building, I will come back, and I will show you the finishing steps on how to do this. Hey guys, so it's done creating it. It's on, I threw it onto my Mac backup, uh, my external hard drive. So it's the iPod 3.1.3 custom. Let me just open it to show you the full name of it. It's going to look like that iPod 2 slash under 1 3.1.3 custom firmware. Um, so that's what you're going to want to have. And then you're going to want to open up iTunes. And you're going to have your device. And you're not going to want to restore it. You're going to want to unplug it. Turn it off. And then, while holding the home button, see if I can angle it so you can see that. While holding the home, ah, sorry guys. While holding the, damn it. While holding the home button, just plug it in to iTunes. Alright, sorry about that guys. And you're going to get it restore the iTunes thing. Hit OK. Now, you, you want your device looking like that. If it's in DFU mode, it won't work. If it's not in the, any type of mode, it's not going to work. You want it to be in recovery mode. Hit Option Restore. Go to wherever you have it backed up or have it saved, and you're going to restore it now. It's going to extract the software. Put the iPod in front of the screen. It's going to flash white. Pineapple.
dial restore. It's going to wait for iPod and it is going to restore. Now, obviously, this isn't going to work for iPod 3G, iPod Touch 2G, MC model, iPhone 3G old boot ROM, new boot ROM, or iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4, mainly because the last two models, it has this was released before iPhone 4 and iPod Touch 4, and the 3GS is not jailbreakable this method. But stay tuned, and I, I'll come back when it's done jailbreaking to show you guys how to put the new city on, because I'm going to also show you guys how to put the new city on that's really fast and speedy, so you can optimize your already jailbroken device. So I'll come back when it's done restore. All right, hey guys, so here you look, I'm actually using my different iDevice. <clears throat> The restore process was taking long. This is my second generation iPod Touch 8 gigabyte. Um, just to prove to you guys, in fact, that it did jailbreak. Just this is my other jail, my other i device, and I'm you. I just re showed you guys to restore. It has City and it's running 3.1.3, but it takes a while to reload. Um, because it's not using new City. So what you're gonna want to do is once you have the success, make sure it is obviously running 3.1.3. Shazam 3.1.3, and then you're going to want to go down to Cydia, and it'll take 10 minutes to reload and install everything. It might get frozen. Okay, where to the right, guys? If it re if the reloading freezes, like after you install all the uh, all the updates it asks to install, it freezes, and it doesn't restart, re come back after five minutes, just exit out and then do a forced restart. And how you do a forced restart is you just hold down the home and power button until your device turns off, and just continue turning, holding it until it turns on and release both buttons. And that's very simple, and it should then at that point be fine. That's what I had to do, and now it reloads fine. Um, and I wouldn't say fast, but it's not laggy. And all right, so sorry about the wobbliness. Um, the next step is going to be to get to New City. You're going to want to install the new um, to install the new city, you're going to want to install SS, uh, SSH. Um, and it's very simple how to do that. If you try to do it before you install, download all the packages and install, it's going to say it's not installed and you're going to have to restore. So that, I mean, not restore, re install all the updates. Um, but if, you're, if you follow the instructions like I'm now, you should have, you should see open SSH access how to. Just click on that. So let me pause the video. It's going to take a couple minutes to reload. And I will come back when it's going to reload. All right, guys, so as it's done, it took about 30 seconds for a minute to um, reload all the data, but now it's not reloaded. So you're going to want to click on how to, um, and you're going to want to install OpenSSH. SSH. Hit up here and still it's saying modify because I just installed it. Um, you're going to want to hit install, um, and it's going to just click it again, install, and then once it's done, just bring back the Cydia, and then hit the home button. And just to prove to you guys that this is, in fact, an iPod Touch 2G, MB model, about MB 3.1.3, 6.7 gigs, okay? And so that's that. The next step is going to be taking place on your computer with CyberDuck. All right, hey, guys. So after you have downloaded SH, the SSH blog and you've downloaded CyberDuck, you're going to want to open up um, CyberDuck, and you're going to want to just type in your IP address. And how you find that, you go to your settings and your iPod Touch. Go to your wireless, click on your device, and you're going to take the IP address. Um, and so then you're going to want to type in root and alpine for the password. Have it set to SSH photo file transfer and hit connect. I'm going to cancel because I've already connected over. Um, and yeah, that's it. So um, the final step to get to New Cydia is after you've downloaded it from the description, link will be in the description for the new city. I keep forgetting to put it in there. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> exit out of that. You're going to want to, I think it's in here. I might be wrong. Let me just type in city. All right, it's right here. Let me just drag it to my desktop. Um, you're just going to want to take the file, um, and, oh yeah, one other thing, you're going to want to have downloaded a file, I file, it cost me $4, you can get it somewhere cracked, I don't condone that guys, buy it from the developers, I file, just download it, whatever, I'm sure you can find it somewhere, <clears throat> sinful, iphone repo.com, <clears throat> who said that, um, so, um, after you've downloaded it, by any me any way you want it, you go to this thing right here, the slash, open it up, 
go down to R A R, V A R. I'm sorry. Make it go all the way down, and then just ah, don't do that. Um, where is it? Skip R A R. Just dra drag it to the. Oh, how did it go? Just drag it to our your V A R file. Just drop drop it in. It's gotta upload it. Say allow. Can upload it. It's small. It's only eight hundred forty four kilobytes. Exit out of that. Now you can minimize Cyberduck. Now you're gonna want to go into iFile. Open up iFile. And you guys, if you missed anything, um, I actually made a video on how to get this on four point two point one. It's the same steps. Go back. Go back. And here's your slash r v a r. And at all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see this file right here. That's what you just put on. You're gonna click it. Installer. It's going to install it. It's unpacking and replacing Cydia. You can read what it's doing. All right, hit done. Refresh Cydia. It's gonna work, guys. Don't worry. All right, so I had to restart my device. Um, so that's why it's frozen like that. All right, hey guys. So here is your device. It should have re you should restart. Should have restarted it. Um, you would have gotten error code 256. So that's fine. It's just saying it can't run on it because it does. The version of Cydia is too old. Don't worry, that's not true. As I'm going to show you right now, it's going to launch Cydia. And I have a side by side comparison just to show you guys the numbers. Launch both of them. Um, first of all, this is launching way faster. As you can see, it's already done a lot launching. We're just going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to compare numbers. There is Cydia 1.03044 slash 6, and this is running Cydia.103361. So, you guys, we do in fact have new Cydia on this device running 3.1.3, as you can see in the corner. So, if you have any questions, just let me know. But this is Apple Fanatic saying peace.